What is going on everyone, Reef Saloon, and I'm just going to be uh, doing a quick unboxing of um, my corals that I just got in. They're going to be going in this 32 gallon biocube tank. Um, these are the first corals that are ever going to be into the tank, so I have everything ready for them. It is still early in the morning, so um, the lights aren't fully on in the tank, so yeah, let's get right into it. So first of all, I ordered it from uh, saltcritters.com, and on the side they say, live critters inside, please rush, don't kill them, keep between 70 to 75 degrees, and then they keep the, uh, they have the website on there. Now it's just going to open the box. So I open the box, they say, first of all, they give us an enjoy your order, and then it shows you how to acclimate and all of this stuff. So, uh, step by step process and how to acclimate it. And here it also says all livestock comes with a 14 day stay alive uh, guarantee, but you have to follow these rules. I'll read. It comes in just this little bag, and it's wrapped well. So I'm just gonna. Try to get this knot out, and if I can, if, if I can't, I'm just gonna cut it. Open. I think I can. I think I think I can. There we go. Okay, I think a light in the back just went out, so sorry for that. Okay, so it's double bag. There's another, <laughs> they bagged it uh, twice, so to make sure there's like extra packaging. Where the hell are these corals? I want to know. Alright, you know what? At this point, I'm just going to cut it open. Actually, yeah, no, I'm just going to cut it open. There we go. And I see the frags. Here's one. I'm not gonna tell you guys what they are yet. Um, le uh, leave a comment if you know what they are, because yeah, these so far look really nice. Um. I don't know if you can see very well, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to float, uh, float with them, and then I'm going to drip acclimate, and just to, as extra precaution, just um, I'm going to follow their directions, so there's a 14 day guarantee, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, I will let you know when they're in the tank. Alright, um, sorry if it's a little bit blurry, but I have the frags into the tank and they're uh, water, the temperature acclimating from one tank to the bottom down there, right down there. Now it's floating to the top. It's all right, as long as it doesn't pop on one of the rocks, we're good. I think it's just gonna go up to the top now with the other one. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna let it acclimate for 30 minutes. So right now it is 1044 so by 1115 around there I should be good for uh, drip acclimating them um yeah so I'll get back to you guys when it's time to get them in a bucket and drip acclimate <laughs> in one of the frags uh, in one of the frags that I got the Polyps are already opening and they're still in the bag. So, I'm assuming that's a good sign. But, it's still floating. Still have quite a bit more time to go. And I'll see you all in a little bit. Alright, so as of the moment, I am drip acclimating the frags. And, yeah. So, they started to open up in the tank. So, I'm assuming that's a good sign. Um, 
but yeah. I spilled a little bit, so I just put some paper towels down. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But um, I also got this light for the back chamber with Cheeto. So I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing. waterproof so you can stick it in there and it'll be completely fine um, let me see if you can see it yeah look it's it's all blurry sorry I literally cannot do anything but the blurriness I need a new camera lens that is like not blurry as a blurry um yeah so this is good I'm gonna stick it in the back chamber with the Chato and yeah, hopefully this will give it a nice little growth spurt. And then there's light back there already and it's growing really nice. Um, so yeah, I'll get back to you when the frags are ready to go into the aquarium. All right, everyone. So it is now time to put the corals into the tank. Um, I'm gonna put them into the tank and I'm gonna wait a little bit and I'm gonna shoot a photo probably later on today. Uh, but yeah, so here, let me do quick. Do you see that blue light in the back? That was, that is the uh, light from the refugium I have going on with the Chato. Um, so yeah, so now I'm gonna take out uh, this siphon and the rest of your back. Um, I sort of forgot to record the feeding of them, but this Acanophilia, um, it just gobbled up like three mice of shrimp, and its tentacles, or it just ate them, literally. It took them about like 10 minutes. Um, I had to fall off for 10 minutes, I fed my fish and whatever came down. It, I saw it for a fact at least three mice's shrimp fell in this A can and now the, the hair gone. He just swallowed them whole. Um yeah. He's he's nice and puffy now. 